YouTube. This is me, GameCube1177. And today I thought I would do something nice for you people. Because I get questions asked on how to mod Xbox 360 games and stuff like that. So I thought I'd do something nice for you people. Uh, what do you, well, first of all, what you need to mod your Xbox, you will show you. This transfer cable hook up to your computer. You can get one for like, I think like $15. Something like that, $12 from Microsoft. And if you have an Xbox 360 Elite, so you can get one for free. Now, if you got like a special Xbox, like the Modern Warfare 2 one or like a Halo 3 one, I don't know. So you have to check yourself on that. So, um, what I use as my main thing to get my files in and out for modding is Export 360. It's basically the same thing as Explorer, just a little different. I don't have Explorer, so I don't really know much into it. So I'll just show you the basics of Export, if I can get it open. Oh, and um, I'll put all the links to like the downloads for the stuff in here, like Easy GT, that's the module. Gamer takes Shiggy to encrypt and decrypt stuff, and Modio, COD Tool, uh, Class Mods, um, Modern Warfare 2 Class Mods, Gamer Picture Injector, and Hex Edit. Um, yeah, put that in there for you. So this is your, this is how it is here. Export when you open it up. Your profiles are right here. Mine's right here. So. This one, the top one, right here, that FFE one, is your profile. This is your profile one. And here's your games. So, yeah. And then to get it out, you simply just drag and drop for um, XP and I think for Windows Vista. I don't know about Windows 7 yet because I don't have it, but for Vista, you have to run as administrator before you open this up. You have to right click and you go run as administrator and then you can do it and I think for Vista you have to click on it and you have to extract it to your profile or your desktop so you have to do that stuff but for XP you don't have to so you're lucky and then so I'll just show you some of the basics on here um, Contool, uh, Contool 1.6 uh, is not for download anymore that's only for people who pay for it before it got co close to 1.5 is the best that you can get for free. Uh, Modio, this is free. I'll just show you a little bit about Modio. You can do lots of stuff in Modio. Um, games in here. Profile, some stuff you have to pay for, like the color changer. But I'll post a link in here to get one for free called Horizon. A um, bunch of stuff, just a bunch of stuff in here. Um, the class mods really simple. All you do is just open up your um, MP data for your Modern Warfare 2 and you can customize any class you want for split screen only. And then, yeah. It's really simple. Get any gun you want. Change it to what you want. Just only um, if you do a gun like, I'll just make a class up right here. You can't have like something ridiculous for the famous like um, a grip and um, rapid fire like you would have for like a some machine gun or shotgun. Um, it, if you do that, it won't show up. So you gotta make it you know realistic kind of. Um, let's see what else. Gamer picture injector is really easy to use. I'll show you how to use this really easy. Let's see, you go file, update games, all games, and you just go to games and you search and let's find something. Like Modern Warfare 2. And you just click search and then you have all your pictures. Some some of these don't have gamer pictures like Call of Duty World at War. Doesn't have any. Uh, Halo 3 does. Yeah, here you go. So that's how you use that. Oh, and then once you're done with it, done, I'll show you here. 
once you're done with that, you find all your stuff, you just export to con, and you name it anything you want. Just keep it short and simple. I just call mine like GP Gamer Picture. And then you open up your export again. You go to zero 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 a bunch of zeros. And then you find your file FF F E zero seven D one. I don't know why mine's just marked Halo Wars for some reason. And you go to zero 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 two zero 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 zero. You open that up and then it should be in here. Like right here I've gear pictures. And um Shiggy's real simple to use. What you do is just decrypt it and you encrypt files like if you download one from like a uh, file share holder. Um, yeah, I'll get more into detail about that later. I'll add some stuff on the side. Uh, profile editor. There's a newest version out here. I just have the second one. There's like profile editor 2.5. I don't have that one yet. So what you do... Okay, let me get my... What you do for this one is you get your um, profile out you open it and this this allows you to mod your achievements that's all I know what to do on this one uh... You know, you know, achievements right here uh... Well, this is my profile before I got banned mm, yeah I do so um, I suggest you don't do this profile or achievement modding but it's up to you if I can make a suggestion it's just um, don't like advertise that you have you're doing this like don't show it off online just keep your mouth shut and be fine so uh, to do this you just simply click on this and you just hit offline and unlock all offline and then you just go file save and then you exit out and then you go to let's see where is it hashbot calculator open this up you go to file, open, find your profile that you did, and you just go, guess and can load, calculate hash blocks, and you just go down and see if it's true. And if you see, if you see a bunch that aren't true, that means you did something wrong. So you might want to redo it. Or if you have a couple false, like just a couple, what I found a trick is you just close this, open back up, and reopen this and rehash it again and it'll make it all true again so yeah and then for hex edit I just have the regular old hex editor um, how to get this open is you just go file open and then here you go here's all your profile stuff yeah What else? COD tool. Uh, this is real simple to use, but I don't have any Call of Duty 4 or 5 game types anymore. Um, what you do is you just open up your Call of Duty 4 or 5 game save, and you just choose what you want in here. And this this is for DV ARs, and this lets you do some extra stuff. I don't have any right now, so yeah. Um, for my deal, there's it's basically the same thing as COD Tool, except um, it allows you to mod your model for two save. It's basically the same thing. So yeah, if you have any questions about modding, please ask me, um, and please comment, rate, and subscribe.